Welcome back to Teresa's Den. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And um, Alex is here. And this is very weird uh, because we're in our living room. So like, hey, thank you for clicking on this video because this is actually our Q&A video. I put a question up on the community tab. <laughs> <laughs> so weird filming with somebody else in the room. It's so weird. Okay. Anyway, I put a question up on the community tab asking you guys, <laughs> asking you guys to ask any sort of questions. And there was like 76. 76. 76 questions. There were some dupes. Plus, we're going to eat snacks. So I know I said in the past that I don't like mukbangs, and I still don't, but I have a lot of Australian treats I want to eat. Why did the TV Why just the TV turn on? The did TV I was, catch something? The TV was on. Oh no, my bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the cool. ghost. Ghost debunked. Can you tell I'm nervous? Totally. <laughs> so what do you want to do first? You want to ask me a question first, or you want to like rip open and see some snacks? I'm uh, okay with both. First, want to talk about <laughs> holy Treaty? shit, You're crazy girl. What is wrong with you? Slash, we love you at the same time. I know. We so we totally love holy you. Holy crap! Can I that tell is... you? I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been wanting to like eat more. When I saw that, I was like. Okay. <laughs> Trudy's awesome. Is there cocaine in there? Jesus. With a name like Teresa, I'm wondering if you are of Irish descent. I am. Mm. I am. No, I am. So I'm really white, which means really? I'm. <laughs> uh, don't let the pale skill. Pale skill. <laughs> don't let the pale skin fool ya. Go fuck yourself. I just got a reaction from the eels. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, they're totally there. That would feel day. All right. Yes, I am Irish. I am Irish, German, Polish, English, and <laughs> Swedish, which means I'm really white. All the stuff. All the stuff. So yes, I am <laughs> Irish. I've been to Ireland once, and it was a magical place. I didn't get a hangover at all, and I still remember that to this day. Cause Wait, I, is that, like, all you remember? Really? No. I mean, other than the beautiful shades of green and just, like, the really awesome people, because it was kind of right after 9-11. So everybody was just like, when you said that you were from New York, people just lost their shit. And they were like, oh my god, I can't do an Irish accent. People still accent. do that, though. But I mean, the people still do that, but I mean, at I mean, that particular extreme. time, yeah, people I mean, were buying me drinks, and I mean, like, as if I lived in the war. <laughs> just, I mean, like, I'm not, I, whatever. But it was just really kind of an interesting time, I think, um, to be an American and going uh, abroad, because people really felt for you. But Ireland was a, an awesome place, and we should go. So yes, I am Irish, and greetings from Ireland. Greetings from shitty New York, so. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Good. We're gonna go to the next queue. I'm, I'm, I'm socially awkward, and you'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're both not awkward at all. <laughs> wow, that's really bright. How do you stare at that? I don't know, I kind of lost part of my eyesight a little bit. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I just see floaters from <laughs> I just see a giant <laughs> circle. It's actually not like that eyes. bad, though. It's like the ring. Can we pull the table a little bit closer? No. I like, I like, it, I like it being a foot and a half. <laughs> I like feeling like I'm at a news anchor desk. I like feeling like I'm six and I have to lean all the way. <laughs> no, I, I just like being like, welcome back to the evening news. Sandra Wild here. I don't know. Now back to sports. Okay, all right. Okay, next, next question. <laughs> next cue. When did you stop preaching? Did I ever stop? Okay, no, but seriously, where do you get your t cool t shirts from? Okay, so um, it depends. If you're talking about like the really adorable ones with like the sloth and the little T-Rex, then that would be torrid. But if you're talking about things like I eat ass <laughs> or like Beetlejuice and you know, strange or whatever, it could either be from uh, T Public or Look Human. I had to look it up earlier today. That's why I said it very weird like that. And what's really cool about those sites is that they um, have smaller artists or whatever that really kind of create these really cool designs. And yeah, you should go check them out. But this is actually a Joji shirt because I love him and I love Filthy, Filthy Frank. Frank. So I just hate that. I literally bought this and it looks like I've had it for fucking three years. But... It also looks like you have a dog that chews the lunch. I know, and we don't even have dogs. I know. All right. Future question answered. <laughs> I have an awful garbage mouth too. Can yeah. we be BFFs? Absolutely. Smiley face emoji. Absolutely. We, we're totally best friends. Anyone who, anyone who is like a, a fucking water trash person like myself, we're automatically family. So yeah, it's just, like Olive Garden. Just send your applications <laughs> to one, two, three, garbage mouth lane. <laughs> Everyone's accepted. <laughs> Walk-ins welcome. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you like some of these eucalyptus <clears throat> family pack cough drops that were really, After actually really good? After I finished my hot chocolate. Yeah, because you're sick. That got brought to me by a person. I know, it's so good sometimes it's to live best. in New York. 
That's the only good thing about living in New York. Yeah, but other places have parking, so I'd rather... That's, that's true, too. We're just lazy pieces of shit. All yeah. right, next question. <laughs> if you're stranded on an island, <sighs> palm tree emoticon. And believe me, I was to a degree in Hawaii. I think this is Trudy, actually. Which Trudy, thank you again for all these fun snacks! Hey, that's pretty good. No, but seriously, what would be the one thing you would not be able to live without? And it can only be one thing. It doesn't have to be makeup, lipstick, and mocha. Um, I would say sunglasses. I can't live without sunglasses. For sure. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> What about you? <laughs> uh, my regular glasses. Oh yeah. Well, if you had your prescription sunglasses, you'd be cool. Though. I know, but then but at night if, you'd be fucked if, though. It, yeah. <laughs> That's. Yeah, I mean. Also, if we did somehow manage to build a civilization again, I'd be that dick who wears his sunglasses inside. Oh my god. You we all know that one person. What's your take on paranormal stuff? I love like, it. Are you into it? Let me just Sorry. Okay. Are you into it? If so or not, do you have any creepy ass stories? I do. And I, I mean, no, I do. I do. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even read that the first time I saw that. What? Do you... <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll see that next. Okay, so. Do you have any creepy ass stories? Yes, Are I you do. into paranormal? Yes, I, I do love the paranormal. Actually, it's a really funny story is when I was 15, me and my best friend, uh, Michael, who you'll see sometimes uh, comment really uh, like snarky stuff <laughs> on my videos, and I always appreciate it, and he always um, thumbs down my videos, which always makes me so happy. Brings you down to earth. Um, <laughs> it brings me down to earth, you know, anytime I'm having a good day. And he, we, for the longest time, wanted to be parapsychologists, and we were like, let's go to Scotland and go to the University of Edinburgh and be like parapsychologists. And then we realized that, uh, yeah, it's just not a feasible career, but we were really obsessed um, with the paranormal stuff. And I think both of us having like similar kind of like weird ghosty kind of stories, I think it kind of brought us closer together when we were younger. Um, not to say that it doesn't do that now, but yes, I do have some creepy stories. And I'll have a playlist down below and it's actually tied in with any Halloween stuff that I have done. I figured that's the most appropriate time to have spooky stories. So yeah, mm. go check them out if you haven't already. What was the other part of that question? Uh, I just want to say, you fucking rock! Love how you're freaking honest and raw! It was in all caps. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love, love all your, caps. Love your channel. Psst. Aww. You get high. Okay, so if, uh... <laughs> and, uh <laughs> Do you want the do you want the real honest trans you want to be real transparent here? It's your channel. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> um, do you want to get high? Not currently. Have I been high? Yes. But um, I think kind of starting my YouTube channel, I actually haven't really been smoking anything, smoking weed or anything like that, because. Uh, I think it just uh, does not help me in my creative process. If anything, it uh, cripple, cripples me into uh, a funny laughing sloth, fit. Sloth-esque. I, uh, I act like a sloth and I eat uh, cheese doodles all day. And I mean, that is sometimes really fun to do on a Saturday. But um, I, yeah, so in the past, yes. Now currently, no, but um, I have nothing against it though. Yeah. I, no if you smoke weed, you're awesome. You do what you do. If you don't smoke weed, you're <laughs> awesome. I, it doesn't matter. It's, so, yeah. <laughs> Where have you traveled? The farthest I've ever been was probably Ireland. And um, I really want to go visit a bunch of other places like that's Australia. Nice. And Oh, that's the next question? Literally, what's your dream destination is the next question. Oh, my dream destination would be fucking Tokyo. To obviously. Japan. I cannot, want to go to Japan. Oh my god, I cannot wait to go to fucking Japan and live there forever and not leave. And just, ugh, everything about it looks so good. That's what I've been, like, obsessed with lately, is just watching the vlogs about yeah. Japan. Do you live in a pineapple under the sea? Yes. Aye, aye, Captain. Right? No, I don't. I would love to, though. It's better than reality. <laughs> that got real sad. Okay, okay. next. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? So... Okay, I was thinking about this question for a while now, and initially I was going to be like, you know what, I'm going to die either way, I might as well just get it over with. And I was going to go with one horse-sized duck. But, Alex, me and Alex were kind of discussing it further, and I think you're right, and it's better to have a hundred 
duck size, size horses, horses because at least you could take a you few could take of a few down with you before you ultimately get eaten to death. Totally murdered. <laughs> so I guess I'd rather um, take my chances in stomping with a couple of horses. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm already doing so good. Do you smoke weed? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to kill mini horses? Absolutely. Yeah. God damn it. <clears throat> Fuck, man. All right, next. <laughs> it's snack time. Hey, Pee Wee! It's snack time! Yippee! Since I puked, I'm already hungry! Okay. We'll we take, should do snack we'll time. Take a, we'll take a five. All right, so what do you want? Okay, this looks amazing. I don't understand why we can't get snacks like this in America. And I'm sorry for oh, I'm like chewing my mouth open. That's rude. Sorry. Mm. Oh, okay. Tim Tams won. <coughs> Pretty good job. Oh yes. Chocolatey, but like not too chocolatey. Not like um, American chocolate where it just tastes like shit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was interesting because it kind of just reminded me of like a chocolate graham cracker. For a second, it kind of tasted like pepperminty. No, it did, and because I would not fucking eat that if it was pepperminty. I know. I think I'm dying. Can you vlog <laughs> some New York? Mm -hmm. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to see? Yeah, like what in New York? Yeah, what do you want to see in New York? Because there's, there's a lot of people and there's like buildings and stuff. People like those apparently. Okay, so where I live, I live in Queens and it's, I would say, more of a residential neighborhood. By me, there really isn't much to look at. There's Manhattan. I don't know, do you want to see Manhattan? Do you I, I imagine Manhattan is what... what, what Manhattan's what overrated. <laughs> I don't know, be more specific. Let me know what you want to see and then um, we can go <coughs> from there, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. It's just... If it was up to me, I'd be like, me going to a restaurant, eating, me getting on the train, going back home. I work there every day. The last thing I want to do is to go back there, if that makes any sense. And to fucking get to Manhattan anyway, it's a pain in the ass with the train. So I think that's why I don't really do a lot of vlogging. Plus the train's horrifying, so. Yeah. You've heard my stories. all the stories come from? <laughs> uh, Speaking of trains. Simple. Yeah, what's up? What trains do you take to get to and from work? Mm -hmm. That sounds super stockish with this question. But I ask because I'm from NYC, and I always hope to bump into you. Well, one, being that you're from NYC, then you can uh, validate that my stories are real. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, I take the 8th Avenue and the Lexington Avenue lines, so... Creeper! I <laughs> know. Hopefully I'll run into you. Come say hello. I always look like I'm such a bitch, because my face is like... But really, I'm really nice. So, so just... if you, you tell her that you're a fan, she will... I'll probably just start bawling. Yeah. Like, Wah! so that, that is yet to happen. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't happened yet. Nobody has come up to me because New so, York's a huge place. You get the first reaction. That'll definitely probably be a story. That would be a story. It would just be <laughs> me being like, oh my god, and then being really awkward because I, I feel like I wouldn't live up to the hype. <laughs> just be like, I'm disappointing in person because I'm a shitty individual. And you so. just make a video on it. Yeah, I'll make a, a fucking. Matrice's dick. <laughs> Super disappointing. <laughs> Why aren't you funny? I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you act like you're in the videos? <laughs> but no, seriously, that's probably what's going to happen. So come find me on 8th Avenue or Lexington Avenue line. Be the first person. It'll be the funniest. <laughs> <story>. Done. <laughs> <laughs> you can live anywhere else. Where would you live? That's a and why? That's a great question. I would live um, in either Portland, Oregon or Portland, Maine. Yes. Why? Portland, Oregon is probably one of the most amazing places that I've ever seen in my whole life. Granted, I haven't seen a lot, but... It was still pretty great. It was still pretty great. Better than New York, and this is coming from someone who was born and raised in New York. Um, Portland is just an awesome, awesome city. It had everything that you needed and more, and the people were really lovely. Yeah, everyone was really chill. Oh, so kind of like jokey. It was weird. Everyone was quippy, and I liked that. Yeah, and in a good way. Yeah. just like, hey, I'm a douche! Like in New York. Yeah. And there was some amazing food and... <laughs> some amazing food. It was actually all amazing food. We only food. had one bad meal. That fucking Mexican place. I'll never speak of that. We just did. Anyway. Cause someone wanted to go to Taco Tuesday. Anytime, and Alex. It's you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, 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 no. Because Tuesday was your day and Michael, 
You can no, validate this my in the comments. My day was the arcade and which the was fucking, the fucking sandwich place. No, bitch. No, bitch. Because your day was... Oh. Because it was the same place that we went to. We went to ground zero, no, ground control, ground control right? Yeah. And then there was the, the taco sandwich. place. No, we we all for dinner we did the taco place. Oh, my day in my head ended after that because <laughs> there was, there was shit. No, because we, the whole point was like we were gonna do big ass sandwiches, which mm. sadly doesn't exist anymore. Sadly, so it's delicious. But the other one was the me. What the fuck was it? Me Miro something. But basically, on Tuesdays, it's like you pay t fifteen bucks or it was like something like and that. it's like all you can eat tacos. The problem of the place was is that everything just came out wet. Everything so was very watery. Everything like you like oh here's your plate of tacos and it was like someone like literally just went okay and just just jumped water all over your fucking plate <laughs> and now we're it's me Alex and our friend Michael and we're just sitting there eating it. And it was the worst. And I also got into some weird fight, too. I think I was just being a bitch, too, that day. You were being a little bit better. Yeah, I had good reason, though. I had good reason. So, other than that meal, yeah. that was awful. But other than that, Portland, Everything Oregon is fun, amazing. Right? And Portland, Maine, we recently just went there this year on, like, a small vacation. And it was amazing. It was so good. It was so good. It was the best Chinese food great. I've ever had. I which dream about is, that Which place. is hilarious. I know, considering I come from New York, and New York is supposed to have like, well, those Chinese food, you yeah, know, bullshit. Yeah, it's literally trash here. Um, yeah, it's water trash here. Not the good water trash, not like me. It's just shit trash, but. Anyway, so Portland, Maine would be great. Yeah. Good you gonna time. come with me? A good time there. What favorite and least favorite things about living in New York? My favorite thing about living in New York is that you can get anything that you want at any time of the day. I think it's probably the, the best thing about living in New York. If you want a pizza, there's at least one place open that will give you pizza. Yeah. Will it be good? Debatable. I, I would say that's probably the best thing about living in New York. That's it. Yeah, that's about it. Um, <laughs> it the there. least, my least favorite thing is being, living in New York. It's just living in New York. Yeah, it's not great. It's really expensive. <laughs> it's so very expensive for no reason. Noise pollution is awful. You will never have a really good night's sleep. <laughs> There's so much crime, there's so much pollution, everything is just nasty, people are just disgusting, they piss and shit and come everywhere, like, it's fucking gross. Sometimes at the same time. <laughs> and you, I laugh, but it's really, it's true. <laughs> only because, you laugh only because you've seen it. <laughs> oh, the A train's disgusting, bro. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, Let's sorry. I got down. heated from that calm question. That made me so mad. Jesus. Fuck New York, bro. I'm just gonna come at you. Mm -hmm. What happened to Jimmy Hoffa? He's dead. Cool. He's in the Meadowlands. I laughed really hard when I read that. It was super so random. random. I was super like, super random. I was like, but great. definitely appreciate it. What's your favorite meal? So my favorite meal is gyozo. I love like gyo, not dumplings. Gyozo. Gyozo. Pan fried gyozo. Pan fried gyozo. Not I steamed, steamed. Not steamed. Well, steam seems okay, but mm. not as good as pan fried. Love not like deep fried. Pan fried. <laughs> Very specific with my gyozo. Um, I could literally eat a million of one of those. Yeah. 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 My favorite meal. Who is your movie star crush? Okay, now you can grab your phone. And there he is. Ethan Embry. <sighs> you might know him from Vegas Vacation. <laughs> that thing you do. Can't hardly wait. Can't hardly oh obviously can't hardly wait. That the, one episode of Masters of Horror. Devil's Candy. Oh it so was okay. awful it that wasn't movie. Good. And it wasn't that fucking that wig that he no, wore no, the was wig so was, bad. The wig was terrible. Anyway, I loved him. <laughs> and I go me and Alex we go to horror conventions and we've been going to them. Forever. This one was at Monster Mania, which is the one that we go to and it's in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. It's like a little five five, ten minutes outside of Philadelphia. And he happened to be there and I got up like at fucking five o'clock in the morning, did my hair, my makeup, like I made sure like I made my face so white because I have a tendency of getting really red and I just put on so much foundation just to control the fucking tomato shade that I was going to be when I met him and he was a complete sweetheart. And he was, he was super nice. And I made Alex take at least a hundred burst photos because I was like, you just hold down on the iPhone like this. <laughs> It was about and 160, <laughs> And I will pick the best one. <laughs> and I was like, okay, hold on. It was All like right. a good two minutes. I mean, him were like, and you think I'm joking? Yeah, not, not joking. It's my lock screen, so when people at work and they haven't seen pictures of Alex, they're like, oh, is that your husband? And they go, yes. no. No, I always go, no. And they're like, well, who took that picture? My husband. And they just always <laughs> laugh. And they're like, okay. I'm like, hmm. 
Mm. But I would do the same thing for him if he had like a lady that he liked. I don't really give a shit. But he doesn't care. I am just obsessed with Ethan Embry. I don't. I don't have. I have. I think. I want to say more realistic goals in crushing on celebrities. I mean, he's still a good-looking guy, though. I know he's really handsome. Okay, calm down. <laughs> No, but I mean, like, most people would be like <laughs> fucking George Clooney or like Brad Pitt, like, oh, let me eat that ass, but I'm just like not into it. <laughs> I'm into like, like this, you know, lovely Chud monster. Like, he's adorable. Like, he's not, he's very good looking, but I wouldn't say like he's on the top list of like hottest things. He ain't no insert your insert name. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say Zach Efron, and I'm like, I don't think people think he's Does cute anymore. Like him anymore? I think those high school musical days are over. Okay. Well, you can only be in high school for so long. <laughs> and he did it for at least a good 15 years. <laughs> think good he had a good him. run in high school. <laughs> Alright, sorry. <laughs> How did you do your makeup in high school? Oh. Or your makeup from the early days, oh. ZZZ, question mark. So how I did my makeup in high school, I basically look like a small boy. <laughs> I would just have like eyeliner on. I would never do my eyebrows. So I looked like I had no eyebrows. So I looked like an alien. And I did not wear foundation, just a little bit of concealer and like brown um, eyeshadow. It was, it was a very basic, uh, very basic look. And then I started kind of going into like colorful mascara. But then, and my friend Desi can attest to this, uh, anytime it would rain and I would wear like yellow mascara, it looked like I have cholera. <laughs> She would just be like, looks like you have cholera. <laughs> and then I had to stop wearing it because I looked sick. <laughs> These are my personal favorites. <laughs> Caramella Koalas. Wait, smell this. Oh my god, they're so you good. You want to just go for them? Uh, well, I don't know. Or should we do like... Do you want to do like mixed buds? Because we're like mixed buds. I don't know what that means. <laughs> let's do mixed buds. Let's, okay. let's do mixed buds. Let's do something that we haven't even opened up yet. I just opened it. Okay. Those are... Those are for your health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Ready? Hold on, you gotta get a mix of these buds. Oh, I actually didn't even... I didn't even get a mix of buds. They're like non pareils Yeah. But they're good, though. Mm-hmm. Like I said, they actually taste good. You gotta do it right. Oh. So, so far we had two snacks. No wax. I'm stealing it from the Doughboys. And if you don't know what the Doughboys are, it's a lovely podcast. You should listen to it. It's probably one of our favorite podcasts. It's, it's people talking about... They literally just talk about chain restaurants. Chain restaurants. restaurants. <laughs> They're two comedians, and they usually have like a special guest. And it's awesome. So It's so stupid, but it's so good. Nobody asked that question, what's my favorite podcast, but um, I'll ans ask it myself. <laughs> Doughboys, go definitely check it out. Any uh, podcast listeners, listeners out there, <laughs> do hashtag pod listener. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Favorite restaurant. How about we do it this way? Yeah. Because we play this game all the time. We do. Because we love food. Obviously, look at us. Disney restaurant. <gasps> Favorite fancy restaurant. Favorite chain restaurant. Okay. We'll be super stupid about it. Okay. Okay. Disney first. Ugh. All right. So my favorite Disney restaurant is I would probably say my favorite 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 meal in Disney had to be from Artist Point. My favorite is the Osmond Steakhouse. What's really funny about that is, is that I like steak too, but like he, Alex is like a steak, 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 steak person. Like he wants dessert steak. That's how much steak he wants. So it's actually good for him because when we go to a restaurant, I wind up still giving you like a good piece of my steak. Yeah. So even after I eat like fucking 22 ounces of steak, I'm like, <laughs> do you I have another more? steak? It's like eight ounces. I can get that's how steak. I am with gyoza. I can eat 22 ounces of gyoza. Okay. <laughs> Fancy restaurant. We're both going to say the same restaurant. One, two, three. ITA 101. 
Well, yeah, ITA 101. I know you're going to finish it, so okay. I got lazy. Okay, so ITA 101 <laughs> is this really cool Italian restaurant in Medford, New Jersey. We go to horror conventions at least like once or twice a year, but then we really actually fell in love with Philadelphia. We don't want to live there. We just like visiting there because we don't know anybody there, so it's not like an obligation. And there are some really good restaurants there, and it's like just a really cool city. One night, when we were at the hotel, we were trying to think of uh, something to eat, and I really, really wanted pasta, so I wound up going on Yelp, and I found this restaurant that was maybe about 15 minutes away yeah. from where we were staying in Voorhees, New Jersey, or some random fucking town. And it wound up being like the best Italian food I've ever had, so, Straight or we've up. ever had. The best. And it's a very, very small place, so if you're ever in Medford, New Jersey. For any reason. <laughs> for any reason. Go there. It's go a to very ICA. small restaurant. It's fucking amazing. It's so good. I mean, of course, like, the only thing that sucks about that place, what I will say, is that I think Medford's kind of like a sleepy retirement town, meaning that the people that are there obviously have money, because uh, when we, like, parked our fucking and Nissan, it was like next to Jaguars and like fucking BMWs and shit. We looked yeah. like the fucking poor water trash of that yeah. town. First time we ate there, <sighs> that was we, awkward. <clears throat> we walk in, we had a reservation because she always does reservations. Because mm -hmm. she's I come like prepared. Yeah, and we walk in, and it was like fucking body snatchers. Everyone just looking at us like. <laughs> It was so awkward. And I was like, we're just here to eat, guys. And we weren't like dressed up because it said casual. Yeah, it's a whatever, casual. Which, yeah, everyone fucking lies. Everyone and their children were in fucking button downs and shit. <laughs> I know, and like his silver spoons and shit. And here we are, and we're like, straight up, you had fucking cargo shorts on and like fucking I have flip flops on. I mean, I obviously we we don't have I eat ass shirts or anything like that, but we were pretty, you know. We were pretty Just cash. We were comfy. <laughs> comfy cash. Comfy cash. My favorite chain restaurant. Alright, this is this is gonna be really fun. Well it's it's chain. It's everyone knows it's trash. <sighs> it's a no judgment zone, except okay. it's going on YouTube okay. and the internet, okay. which is maximum so, judgment zone. So oh, I wish we could just like just sit and talk about food. I love food, obviously. Please leave a comment down below if you want to just <laughs> He's wanted to talk about food. Um, I would probably say my favorite chain restaurant, and now would you, I guess you consider fast food fast food chain, or is it like sit down? I'd say like, I'd, I'd say sit down, yeah. Okay, so then if we're gonna do like chain restaurant, then I'm gonna probably say Cheesecake Factory, only for the pure reason that you can get whatever the fuck you want, and nine out of ten times it's pretty good. I do love chilies, though. Yeah, I'm gonna say chilies. Oh, bitch! Now I regret my oh, answer. Chili. Well, it's done. You can't, you no, can't put no backsies on that. <laughs> but my whole question. Bonus. But the reason why I asked was for fast food. I was gonna say bonus fast food. Go. Is actually two favorites. One Chick Fil A, and Chick Fil A we recently got in New York because we didn't have it before. We used to only get it like down south. And then the second one is fucking Culver's. Oh, bitch, I love me some Culver's. And I only get Culver's when I go see my best friend who lives down south, oh, Michael. Oh, shit, I want to change my chain answer. Oh, too bad, bitch. <laughs> you fucking can't. Why, what would it be? Chewies. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, Chewies. Fucking Chewies is so good. You know so funny? Good. I was thinking about saying Chewies, but I was like, you know what? You're going to say Chewies. And that's why I didn't pick it. Because if we lived on a desert island... And like we both have the same benefit because we're a married couple and when we get our like taxes together, I figured we'd have the same <laughs> Continue. It made sense to Don't me. Don't mind my eyes being closed the whole time. So no, if I said Chewy's Day Factory, then we both can go together. And if you were to Chewy's, then we both can go to Chewy's. That's why I didn't pick Chewy's. But you didn't pick Chewy's I'm either. glad all these rules happened in this one question. <laughs> First of all, in my mind, that's what's kind of working in the background. <laughs> I think of all these rules that don't make any sense because they're not true. All right, anyway. Bonus fast food, go. Bonus fast food, so yeah, it would it would definitely be Chick Fil A or Culver's, and Culver's is just really good because it's just fucking I don't know something about it is just amazing. The service is wonderful. <laughs> no, but it's really good, and the fucking mashed potatoes and gravy—it's so disgusting, but it's so good though. Favorite movie snacks. Peanut M and M's and hot butter popcorn, but not together. You have to eat popcorn first, then peanut M and M's. Although there are some crazy people that actually put Boy, peanut yeah. M&M's, which kind of like, I'm, I'm tempted to try it. I want to get my like my little feet wet in it, but I'm so scared. This is going to look like a hot chocolatey mess. That's why I don't want to do it. Also, artificial butter, I feel like, will not make... Candy better? Yeah, I feel like it's just going to be like really gross, and then I'm going to have to like run to the bathroom and shit my brains out. And miss half the movie? <laughs> Essentially, yes. Shut up. <laughs> I always go for popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an only child? Sometimes 
I like to believe I am, but no, I'm not. What is your favorite coffee drink? Okay. So I really love iced coffee. I think iced coffee is fucking amazing and um, I love it. And it's uh, the, the second thing I drink the most. But right now it's pumpkin season and chestnut pralines latte season. So if we're going to base it off today, I'm going to say chestnut praline lattes. But if we're going to take this answer and base it sometime like say in August, I'm just going to say like a plain old iced coffee. That was really complicated. It was. That was, a very, <laughs> that was a very complicated. <laughs> I like iced co ice coffee. I also like lattes. I like lattes. What is your favorite drink overall? The, my number one drink is water and then it would be coffee. What is your favorite year? I'm going to say 2015 because that was the year that we got married. Mm. <laughs> And I started my new job, which is the job that I'm in currently now, which is the... The job that you can't say. The job that I can't say. <laughs> and also that's where all the lovely <laughs> stories come from, so... Yeah. So I think 2015 was a, a pretty good year. No year for me, because existence is pain. Anyway, what is your favorite pie? I think my favorite pie is something that we don't even get to have in this house because someone doesn't like coconut. You still get it, you're not film. Coconut custard pie. But I also like sweet potato pie, and I really like banana cream pie. So I'm first of all, can I just apologize right off the bat because I feel like every answer that's asking me like, "What's your favorite this?" I'm giving you four different answers, and it just goes to show that that I can't pick one fucking thing. So if that is going to be any theme in this in this overall video, I I, I just I I will give you four answers, and I'm so sorry. Unless you make it multiple choice. <laughs> It's just so hard for me to pick one thing because I immediately fucking regret saying it as soon as I say it. So I have to, I have to give you four options. So any of those pies would be great. Please send me a pie. <laughs> <laughs> Please send pies. <laughs> or pizza pie, actually. Oh, I thought you were gonna be a little more excited with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. Uh, do you want another treat? Uh, did you expect me to like do backflips? <laughs> A little bit, not gonna lie. Because you were like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Sometimes my jokes don't land all that great. It's called everyone. Yeah, and and sometimes I'll just pat myself on the back very early. Yeah, don't break your arm. <laughs> don't break your arm jerking yourself off. All right, what do you want? Grab some. Let's do this one, which are wagon wheels. Wagon wheels. Oh, so there are <coughs> eight mini chocolate coated marshmallow and jam snacks. Oh, so, so when it's I like first. A, uh, no more. That's what I thought. They look like a Malamar or like a Moon Pie. Yeah. But they have jam in it. Really? Yeah. So we're going to try some jam marshmallow jam Malamars. things. I love Malamars. When my grandparents, when they, used, when they were alive. Wow, these are big motherfuckers. Jesus. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> but I was actually a little sad to gonna, see when it was separated. It, I was just going to eat the whole thing. But um, my grandparents owned a candy store. And that was the one thing that my grandmother always had because she loved Malamars and so we would always eat Malamars when I used to get home from school when I'd sit in the candy store with her. you are not quite like Malamars. Yeah, it's like a, definitely more of a cracker mm -hmm. to marshmallow because Malamars are like giant marshmallow and little cracker. Yeah. Or cookie, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Very good. Huh? They are very good. They're different. And they're not like overly sweet. Yeah, I kind of like that the most. Mm-hmm. Because if something like this existed for us, like the marshmallow would be so sweet, the jam would be so overpowering. That's why Americans are so fat. <laughs> Put a bunch of shit and sugar and everything. Yeah. So then when you taste something like this, you're like, oh, this is what it should taste like. Oh, okay. Three snacks, no wax. We're sticking with that, huh? Mm hmm. What's your favorite scary movie? Ooh, okay, that's a really good question. Now, here's the thing. And we're going to be completely honest here. Um, it's hard for me to pick one favorite one because, mm. <laughs> like I mentioned before, I have to give you at least five fucking options. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I go through stages, I find, when it comes to horror movies. And I think right now I'm like in the 80s, kind of, 70s to 80s realm. Because there are no real good current horror movies I found anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, Halloween, the last Halloween was pretty good. It was good. But I wouldn't consider it like my favorite all time ever movie. Oh my god, I don't even have my wedding ring on. Do you have yours on? My mine on the table. Oh. Got him. I don't I don't feel that bad then. Um <laughs> sorry, anyway. Uh so I would say some of my favorite horror movies are Session Nine, 
Phantasm, Fright Night, Night of the Demons, Return of the Living Dead. I really do love We Are Still Here, which is actually one of our newer kind of movies. Um, House of the Devil is also really good too. So it was a little slow. But it, was it was a little slow, good. but it was still pretty good though. Um, well, all the Ty West movies are good, but they're yeah, a little slow. Like they're, they're shot slow. really well, but they're a little yeah. like. <clears throat> Nightmare on Elm Street, New Nightmare. Um, Reanimator. Ah, yeah, Reanimator. Mm-hmm. Cannibal Holocaust. Ah, there's a bunch of them that I really, really do love. Um, so yeah, so that I would say that those are my favorites. But I have a huge horror movie collection, actually, huge. And I'm still looking for some stuff, even though I don't watch DVDs. Just I just want to own them for the pure principle of having them. So yeah, I love my horror movies. I'm a big horror movie fan. Who is your favorite horror icon? I would say Freddy Krueger, um, and it's because. I watched the one documentary, uh, Never Sleep Again, which was six hours, yeah, or fun. about six hours, and it gave you a breakdown of every movie and kind of like everything that kind of went behind it and like what their thought process up, what their thought process was and all that good stuff. And I think kind of based off that, it really made me have an appreciation for Freddy Krueger and the whole Nightmare on Elm Street series in a whole, because I mean, there are some that are like, Fucking hot garbage, especially like number six and stuff like that. Freddy's Dead was terrible. <sighs> oh shit! I love the map scene though. It was oh, wow, good. Oh, it's 3D. Let's point everything at the camera. That's kind of like the one fucking Friday the Thirteenth one. Remember that with the kid with the yo-yo? <laughs> it was like they didn't know what to do in 3D for the first time. No, they're they were like, like we let's put 3D. a fucking yo-yo on someone's face. <laughs> like, who does that? So stupid. Fuck that. No, so I would say probably Freddy Krueger is probably uh, my favorite horror icon. Yeah. But I do love me some Michael Myers. And I do love some Penhead. Oh, Hellraiser. That's another good one. Yeah, Hellraiser good. They're so stupid. Oh, right? you know what, though? Oh, fuck. It's kind of hard now that I think about it because I really do love... <laughs> See? This is my whole point. This is why I can't come up with one answer. So I really do love Freddy Krueger, but in the same vein, I really do love Pinhead because I do love the Hellraiser series. But I think I love the Hellraiser series because it's just something that me, Alex, and our friend Michael, we kind of bond over because it's such a shitty series. It's so bad and there's so many of them. Oh, God. I wish they did like a documentary about that. Oh, I would watch the shit out of that. Me too. Especially number five. Five oh, is God. the best. Number five is so good because it's supposed to be like a Dexter. It's supposed to be, It's Dexter. Yeah. But it's, it's like internal monologuing. And, oh, oh fucking so God. gross. So, and Craigie Schiff. A guy who I we love met him. in real life. He was a fucking doll. I know. <clears throat> Such a sweetie. The best. He was de He was like a Gene's dream. Do you have any favorite comedians? I do. Um, I would say Dave Attell is probably my most favorite comedian of all time. And... Uh, then I would say like Pete Holmes. Let's see who else? Joe Rosa. Joe. Oh, Joey Rosa. Kurt Braun Waller is really great. Burke Kreischer is Burt really Kreischer's great. Funny. Bill Burr. Bill Burr is fucking great. I love Mitch Hedberg, even though he's passed I on. Know. Same thing with Greg Giraldo. Mm. Um, Giraldo was funny. <clears throat> Artie Lang. To some degree, I really do like Artie Lang. Um, because he's actually in his books are really funny too. Uh, Big J Orkerson's pretty funny. Big J Orkerson. And that's the one thing I think that. Um, that me and Alex have like a really good connection with is that we both love comedy. Yeah. And it's funny because like we've been together for 10 years, but we both had like a similar we have childhood. Pretty, very similar. When it that. came to comedians and like watching Comedy Central and, and all that good stuff. So like we like Rowan Atkinson, which I don't. Oh, I love that special. He's not big in the U.S. or he's just known for Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean yeah. but he's an amazing he's comedian. So good. Right, improv. <clears throat> Um, like an improviser or whatever. Yeah. I would say like we all we have like an affinity for like English people, which is really funny because they're not really big here. Well, it's like just think you started, you were watching League of Gentlemen. Oh my god, I love League of Gentlemen. I, I grew up watching Monty <sighs> Python. Yeah, so we which both is funny. had a different starting yeah. point, and we just kind of fucking branched together. Yeah, I yeah, which is yeah, it's a, yeah. the best way to put it. What TV series do you really like? <coughs> <Excuse> <laughs> And I feel like I kind of like jumped into a little bit when answering the comedian's question. And I think um, my favorite, my favorite shows would have to be Kids in the Hall, League of Gentlemen, Inside Number Nine, Psychoville, 
The Simpsons, but only seasons like 2 to 12. Nothing before that, nothing after that. Um, Stranger with Candy. And then I, I love like my 90s old sitcoms of like Home Improvement, Drew Carey Show, um, The State. Like I, I like a lot of old, older shows. Um, because I don't really watch t too much TV now. You don't watch TV. <laughs> I have cable. And I don't. I don't ever really watch it. But anyway, I like those shows. I would say. Yeah. I'm probably more of a fan of like older stuff, and it still holds up today, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Good. Favorite hot drink. <sighs> My favorite hot drink for right now is chestnut praline latte at Starbucks. Love it. So good. Hot. Amazing. What are your favorite movie? So my favorite movie is a very simple one and it's the only answer I'll give you, which is Jaws. I love Jaws, as you can see here. This is one of the many things uh, that I own. I have prints, art pieces, original, um, oh, I, I fucked up. I have prints, I have original art prints, I have movie posters signed. You okay? Okay. I didn't want to make a lot of noise. That's okay. I have posters, canvas prints, I have things signed by Richard Dreyfuss, uh, Roger Castell. I have things that people have made, 3D posters and all that good stuff. And actually, one of the most important things that I've ever got <laughs> from Jaws is something that Alex got me like a couple Christmases ago. And it sucks because it's cracked. Yeah, I don't know that cracked. <sighs> anyway, this is from 1975 and it was actually the original Slurpee Cup that came out in 7-Eleven yeah. uh, that was promoting the Jaws <laughs> movie and somebody had it and that's why it looks so aged and yellow <laughs> but unfortunately due to kind of moving pieces and stuff like that it kind of got fragile and it snapped a little bit so that can, sucks can that but we'll try to glue it back together it's not preserve. like I'm trying to sell it or anything I'm not drinking out of it I'm I will be buried with this um, yeah, I don't drink out of this obviously but it, stuff like this I kind of collect really random things and I have another Thing. actually oh yeah over there in my living room I have like a that you got me one year too like the cardboard yeah um, like it was like a special from Universal, Universal Studios from like what, right from when it launched like 1991 the, like the Jaws ride and it's like a little ticket thing that says like you know buy two passes get an extra day for it like something stupid but it has like the Jaws picture on it I love Jaws that much so I collect everything and anything and I was so excited this past year for Monster Mania because I finally got to meet the, Richard Dreyfuss the drive. who is the only living person pretty much out of the main cast and he was an amazing little old man and mm. there's a picture of me and him and um, he was awesome he was yeah, so he was, sweet he was super nice so funny. I thought he was going to be a little shit. I really thought he was going to be a dick too. Like <laughs> I just imagined he was going to be an asshole, but he was such a sweetie and he just kept throwing candy at us. And he actually hit me in the ass with a piece of candy. So when I got up and to meet him and, and he was signing my poster, um, I told him that he hit me with some candy and he couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, he giggled like a he, fucking child. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> and I was like, can I get a hug? And he was like, of course. And he was cute. I loved him. He was a little old man. Yeah, I love it. Nazi Master! More, more, more in the back. One, two, three. Nazi Master! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a lot of jaw stuff. It's and it's not just here, too. It's also at my job. I have, like, shark stuff. Yeah, you stuff. have a bunch of little shark shit. I love sharks, so. Yeah. So if you guys ever send me anything with shark stuff, I really love that. So remember that. <laughs> Not that you have to send me anything. I never, I, I never want to put that out there. But if you do go to an aquarium and you see like a shark pen, feel free to, feel free to drop it off. I love it. <laughs> I'm six. <Okay. laughs> have you ever thought about doing stand-up comedy? No. No, I don't yeah, think so. I, I think, um, eh, I don't think I'm that funny. I think I'm funny, but I don't think I'm that like. That also seems like a lot of pressure and a lot of anxiety. That's like a different monster completely. Yeah. I think putting myself out on YouTube is enough and, you know, I'm already at risk of, one, getting having- trolls. Yeah, getting trolls and shit like that, but I think it would just be too much anxiety to actually perform in person like that. But, That's a lot. You have like, well, have, thank have you. a lot planned. Thank you for thinking. I know a couple of you guys have said that to me and it's like always just like, it just makes me laugh because I'm like, that's really sweet, but I'm like, I don't know, I'm too nervous. <laughs> what kind of kid were you growing up? Cool fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was an awesome kid. I was a tomboy.